What is an ethical anarcho-abundancist? Many people have asked me what I am. Are you a communist? Are you a socialist? Are you an anarcho-capitalist? Are you a Democrat? Are you a Republican? Are you a Libertarian? Are you a Patriot? Are you an American? I am none of these. I am an ethical anarcho-abundancist and also so lucratic. I am an Earthian. No one has known what I mean when I told them what I am. And so, I will break it all down for all who would ask. Ethical means I consent to the three principles, laws, of ethics, and not the often unethical legal system. The principles are... 1. Do not willfully and without fully informed consent hurt or kill the flesh of another. 2. Do not willfully and without fully informed consent take or damage anything that does not belong to you alone. 3. Do not willfully defraud another, which can only happen without fully informed consent. These cover the things no one, not a single one, would say were okay to be done to them. Are any of these okay to be done to you? Ethics trump legal. Every time. I am not subject to legal things, but to ethics only. Anarcho comes from anarchy a state wherein no one has authority over another. Unlike what the psychopaths have conflated the term anarchy into, meaning pandemonium, there are rules in anarchy, just no rulers. The rules are the principles, laws of ethics. Abundancist. Abundancism springs from the awareness that we are post-scarcity on a planet that could provide fully for all of us. And many times over. Given this, any scarcity is manufactured, like food and shelter. There are six empty homes for every homeless one in the area called America, and financial interests make this so. A huge amount of food spoils before sale and is discarded, enough to feed all of us well. So monetary profit is creating a scarcity. Even products gain scarcity status through planned obsolescence, a profiteering practice to sell more things, and which creates the lion's share of waste and debris on our lovely planet. We have learned to throw out and buy new rather than valuing things. We have learned to accept wretchedness and not strive for quality. While I agree with the anarcho-capitalists on the anarchy part, I see deep problems in the capitalist aspect. Money made sense back when we needed people to add their energy to have needed things. Slackers were not welcome. Some method of ensuring people added their fair share of energy was needed. But we have carried that attitude into an age where technology has reduced the number needed to a very small fraction. More and more, the options to add energy have moved away from needed work 
into work that merely moves wealth upward. Cashiering, sales, advertising, marketing, accounting, collections, insurance, financial advisors, Wall Street and banking, to name the main ones, all exist to move wealth up to the very few at the top. Fewer than 100 people now own nearly 70% of our planet's wealth. They have enough to feed, clothe, house, provide medical care, and otherwise provide for every single one of us, and many times over. Yet, there is poverty rampant on our planet. Wage debt slavery is the norm. People go hungry because they can't afford the food. Given this, I conclude that money, the soil in which the root of all evil, unethical choices, grows, is a poor thing to maintain here. It is clear that the root will die without its soil. It is clear that the power over others money provides will promote psychopaths to the top. They will do literally anything to get and keep that power. The love of money, power over others, is the root of all evil unethical behavior choices, and we would best remove the soil. Because we now can, we now can allow our planet's abundance to flow to all of us, unfettered by the hindrance of money. With the technologies we have, the key one hidden and suppressed, but we can solve for that. We now can live as richly as we each might choose, without poverty, without oppression, without wage debt slavery, without gross waste, without profiteering. Therefore, I am an abundancist. As for being so lucratic, Though they say hope springs eternal, it does not. What springs eternal is a drive to solve problems. If a problem affects us, we will move to try and solve for it. So rather than passing laws, which often create more problems than they solve for, and enforcement of them, a system of solving for problems ethically, with leaders of the moment emerging for each problem, would be vastly better. Whereas laws can be just in some circumstances and woefully unjust in others, the ethical solving for problems as they arise will take into account the circumstances and many problems in the legal system will just not be problems, partaking of cannabis as just one. Will this be a vastly better place to live, able to do what we love to do, travel as we choose, solving problems if we can, for the praise, the thanks, the appreciation, the respect, the reputation, the gratitude we receive? I would say so. What do you think? Please let me know. If you want to build this better foundation, see my playlists for details on withdrawing consent from the mess the psychopaths are creating and consenting to this better foundation. Share the ideas widely. When enough of us know we can create better, 
We will. Are you now thinking you might be an ethical anarcho abundancist, solucratic? And are you an Earthian, one who looks at the planet as a whole, who cares about humanity, irrespective of what country any are from? Amaterasu Solar chill for humanity love always humanity will win